hello everyone welcome back to karine's world thank you so much for stopping by once more my name is karine and today we are going to be attempting fading braids so let's jump right into this video so i started off with my hair i washed my hair the previous night and i kept them in this mini juicy two strand twist so i just put in my leave-in conditioner and my butter you know my hair butter so i you can see from the hair it's moisturized for the guts like you see how shiny it is right yeah it is very moisturized so i'm just taking them out so this is just a method of stretching the hair like to just make the hair easier to comb yeah so i i don't think i usually just do wash my hair and i like do my a hairstyle the same day it's nah it it's it's tiring so i rather keep my hair in twist comb them the next day and you see how it comes out right yeah so when it's in this stage it's really easy really really easy to part and all that so that's how my hair is looking it's growing so fast like my hair anyways i'm a very hairy person let me just put it that way but i'm just alarmed at the rate at which my hair is growing like i love it so much so this is the hair i'll be using is from outre it's the twisted up 40 inches pre-stretched hair in the color one like that's the darkest color so this is the hair like this i just use this is for one piece of hair so each strand is bigger than the previous one that that's basically how i can put it so i went ahead to pre-part my hair because i wouldn't lie you if i'm if i'm telling you this parting took me almost two hours i almost gave up so i chose to part the hair off camera just so that i don't keep you all here for the whole day so let's jump into this plating so even though my hair is moisturized i just added some butter because our hair needs to be moisturized under those braids then i also went in to use my shine and jam for the corners just so that my hair is properly you know just to give it a clean job so i just put it put the gel around the perimeter of my hair and then uh, this is the part where i have to learn how to i suck at describing i suck at explaining so i hope most of you can be like visual learners so that this makes my job a little bit easy but let's just um i'll start explaining properly when i get to where the clip is like here the clip was too close to the hair so i'm gonna repeat the stage like two or three more times just so that everyone can get like what i'm doing so i just started with the back of my hair because i don't know i just felt it was gonna be better that way so i started with the back and it's really it's really hard filming filming from the back so i did just one of that and the rest of the back i did it off camera and then let's go to the front where i can try to explain what's going on here so yeah so i'm just putting the shine and jam around my hair just so that you know all the hair can lay down it's falsy hair so like you have to look for something to tame the hair so that it's obeying and staying staying down or staying flat so i just put the bot the the cream no the jam around the perimeter and then i start doing the corn rolls first and then when i do it about three to four times that's when i start adding the hair so i add the hair from underneath and then i'll plate for maybe one or two one two or three times and then i'll keep adding the hair as i go and that's that's literally it so i will repeat these stages like for uh, i think one or two more times so that everyone can 
get and uh, what I'm doing so I'll just let you guys watch this and then I'll come back to explain again the last stage like the last piece of hair I'll be doing so please keep watching and remember to watch through the end okay so I know how to do cornrows on my hair I'll say I'm I'm okay doing cornrows on my hair I know people who don't know how to do cornrows at all though they did know how to do flat twists instead but I know how to do cornrows so this was my first attempt doing feeding braids like adding hair and all that yeah I'm just used to doing my cornrows and maybe wear a wig or do my cornrows as a protective style when I don't want to be all fancy so this is my first attempt don't judge me I know my lines are not straight parting is another craft of its own like I won't even lie parting is another I don't know like when I see girls part their hair and it's, it looks like they used like like a ruler I, I, I the way I clap for them you know but I'm not giving excuses I'm just saying it's my first attempt you know it obviously gets better and I know that I'll get better as as I keep doing it as long as I keep doing it I'll get better so we are here to learn you know learn and grow and all that so let me know what you think at the end of this video let me know if you're going to try feeding braids if you can do your own feeding braids already good and fine so remember to leave a comment remember to subscribe if you haven't thank you so much for everyone who comes back to watch my videos i really appreciate so i'll let you guys watch this and i'll come back for the final piece just to give a little rundown of everything again so keep watching please So I lost part of the clip of this uh, last stage, like the beginning, but like I really, I literally just did some cornrow then add the hair from from uh, underneath, like that, and then I just do it one, two, and three. <laughs> I think I, I forgot I did that like four times there, and then I add the cornrow one, two three four then i added the cornrow uh, the the hair and that's literally it that's all i was doing and then i also um i was checking the lens just to make sure that like it's uh, the same length with all the hair even though like all of them were not the same length so i added the hair according to like the length of the other ones just so that it kind of match you know yeah, so when I was done doing this, I just dipped the ends into hot water just so that like this, the hair doesn't like, just to tame the hair kind of, yeah. So this is my hair after like I was done. I was pretty, I was really proud of myself with this hair. I didn't know I would even be near to pulling off this style, but yeah, I tried and I'm really proud of myself. I went ahead to lay down my hair with some what is it called got to be glue uh, got to be spiking glue I think this is my best part I love putting this mousse on my hair I love putting this mousse this is all those things that help keep the hair like laying down flat you know the mousse really plays a good role in in uh, 
taming the hair and keeping it flat especially uh, 4c so today is day 10 of me doing this hair and the hair is still doing great like it's really it's I'm, I'm i'm proud of myself i'm just this is about to be one of those styles that i'll do every month so in the upcoming months i will do an update just to see how my parting is doing you know so after i was done doing all this shenanigans here i just went and tied my hair and just slapped some makeup on and then i'll be right back to show you guys how everything is is looking no not that i actually showed i just wanted to show uh, this little clip here i came back to show how uh, i'm putting the beads so this is the beads um hmm. this is what we use i used to put the beads i was just, i don't know the name so i just uh thought of these beads i've had them for over a year and i've never used them so i thought this was the perfect opportunity to use them so some of them i put three beads but there were three beads were the maximum most of them were two so yeah that's it and i just went in to cut the excess hair there so once i did cover my face with some foundation i just came back to you know show you guys how my hair is looking you know that is it i really love this hair like i just love the fact that i can wake up and just go you know without even bothering about my edges and all that like i've done my edges probably once more ever since i did this hair in 10 days so i just wake up and i'm on the go so yeah I really loved it please give uh, give me a thumbs up if you really love this video comment like share remember to subscribe and video recommendations are all welcome so if you have a video idea that you think um, i should do then be sure to leave it in the comment section and see you on the next one